There we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my uh, live stream. We are testing out some new uh, microphone hardware, and we're going to do a short little instructional video on how to make some money. Best way to do it, planting some crops, harvesting them. Uh, you could also use that same method to improve your friendship level with all of your friends. As our game starts up, thank you for your patience. So we're running a little bit late today, but that's all right. We got a decent start. Um, it's only what nine twenty-four. Only twenty minutes late. Twenty-four to be precise. But hey, all right. Let's see. We got our got our stream chat on. So if you joined, uh, definitely uh, say hello. Say you're new. Uh, subscribe. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get notifications every time I post a new video. I really appreciate it. Um, also, follow me on Twitch and Instagram. I will be uh, sending out polls and messages whenever I need to update my streaming um, schedule or, uh, you know, just interact with me. Uh, let me know you're out there. And I'll keep you up to date on my, my gaming schedules. I also play uh, Black Desert Online. Um, Valorant, um, several other games. Dreamlight Valley just seems to be my most like most most recent hit. Let's go with uh, continue. I'm going to start doing some instructional videos here soon, um, showing the individual quests that your friends will give you, making it a lot easier for everybody out there. Let's see, let's get our. Standby screen off. We don't need that up anymore. There we go. Hey. Hi, everybody. Let's see. Get my controller here. Uh, last I left, I had some crops I had just planted. And I'm going to harvest. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to water them. First thing I need to do, though, is I keep telling everybody... Make sure you've got a friend with you when you do this. It's going to help you to up your friendship levels like crazy. Um, what is our friendship level with Moana? I think Moana and Maui are both at 10. So let's go and check that out. Merlin, Wally, Maui, and Moana are at 10. Remy's at 10. We could use to improve Ursula, Anna, Kristoff, Donald, and Minnie. So let's find somebody. Oh, there's Donald. Hey, Donald. You want to hang out for a while? Come on down. You're the next contestant on The Price is Right. Let's see. What kind of gifts do you like today? Tuna, waffles, green passion lily, and I don't have any of those. So we'll just ask you to hang out. All right. Come on down. We got some plants to water. We'll run up here. Oh, I see some... Uh, when you're harvesting plants like this, it also counts. See how that pink star appeared over his head? Um, I forget what I have uh, Donald set as. Let's double check. Characters. When you hover over him. Here he is. Over. Uh, he is gardening. Okay, so he's going to give you a bonus. Let's check the shovel. He does. It's experience when you're when you're shoveling there. Let's see. Does he give you anything when you pick the flowers? Nope. Nothing when you pick the flowers. Double check. Make sure he's in view. Nope. Pick up the sticks. Nope. Nothing when you pick up the sticks. I did learn something. You water flowers to keep them growing. And there are some quests later on in the game that you get. That asks you to water flowers and there we go one of our first goals completed for the day harvest three spices always check your dream light duties you got harvest three spices is what I completed just now um, it's all gonna give me 250 dream light once I get 500 star coins I mine two minerals that's 250 star coins prepare a three star meal that's 150 dream light Remove four light night thorns, 100 dream light. 
Uh, that's a little bit difficult in some areas that you frequent a lot because I tend to pull those things as soon as I see them. Uh, change outfit, it's really easy. I'll show you right now. And feeding a critter, also very easy. So let's start with changing our outfit. We go to our inventory, just down from there. Looks like Donald has a request that we wear these green fishing waders and do some fishing. That was the recent quest he gave me. So that is an easy completion of that duty. Next one is plant five vegetables. Hey, looky there. We're about ready to go do some gardening. So that's going to be an easy completion for that quest. Pick that. Also, one of the quests was mining. And immediately, down to level five. And there you see the some of the things that we earn by improving our level with him, little rewards we get. And we're gonna mine this. We're gonna dig that up. I like to hit the dig button again just to flatten those out. Pick up those sticks because. I've got a couple of quests that require them. Pick that up. Remove the thorns. Switch over to our pickaxe and break that rock. Pull the thorns. As you see, a lot of this can be done really quickly. A lot quicker than, than I can say. As you see, you get an experience, and he's dropping materials as I'm doing it, just randomly. Occasionally, your gardening buddy. Oh, wait, look at that. That flower needs some watering. You water it, and there you go. That's going to give you some points there. Ooh, wait, there's a thorn. Remove that thorn. Every once in a while, that's going to happen. It's going to spit out extra coins, and that can happen whether you're harvesting berries or picking up sticks. It's a little goal. It's a little special thing that pops up. If you do manage to get everything before they disappear, like that one did, um, then you get a special something. Usually, it's a puzzle piece or a chest. Break this up. There we go. And let's get back to our gardening after we pick up these sticks. Uh, no, sorry, Moana. We don't really want to talk right now. We are on a mission. We got Donald with us trying to improve Donald's level. Get some dream light for today. A little bit more mining. And those re refresh on the regular. So you can just hit it every time you see it. Same thing with those sticks. If it rains, a lot of them will fall like right away. Just to indicate the stormy conditions. Pretty cool. Pick those up. Okay, I'm going to switch over to my watering can here. Get it watering. Every time I water, Donald gets experience. You get experience. He's going to level up pretty fast because he's level 5, so I won't be surprised if he gets up to level 6 before we even finish watering the crops I have already. This is Remy's house over here. Once you do the quest for Remy, you'll need to build a house for him. And the same holds true for all of your friends in the Dreamlight Valley. Every time you complete their quest, it will ask you to place their house. Then you need to pay Scrooge money to build it. I know. He's always in, he's in everything. It involves money. You know, Scrooge. All right, I'm going to run around the restaurant here. The restaurant here is dilapidated when you first start, but as you can see, it's all built up pretty good. I think I've done one extra level on his. Improved it one time. There's Scrooge's shop. Right here. I've improved it to the maximum, so you don't see the sign out front anymore. 
but that's the best Scrooge's shop can be. You see two signs outside and inside. I'll give you a little tour. Inside of Scrooge's shop, there's Donald. There's an upstairs. When it first starts, he doesn't have it upstairs. The couch is 450. Nice. Uh, that one is not showing. 75. 23 for that couch or bed. Couch, yeah, that's a couch. English is my primary language and I can't speak. Mm. Oh my gosh. Okay, there's a backpack. 330. Looks like some sandals for 750. Bracelets for 4,000. It was 10,000 for the goggles. I've already got a set of goggles though. Don't really need another. I very rarely wear the set I have. There's a Tiffany looking lamp for 4,000. There's an interesting stool for 1,800. Tiny little lamp. Perfect for your bedside. And there's some overalls. And on the other side is probably one for. The yep, there's another one. Ish. Bye, Scrooge. It was nice seeing you. Okay, back to our crops because we need to keep up on this. When you have crops growing, they'll dry out occasionally and they'll need some watering. For some reason, the canola does need more water than other crops I've noticed. But canola gives you the most return on your money. It does. It really does. When you first start the game, I highly recommend, tip of the day, uh, plant yourself some tomatoes or corn. Get something growing. Don't plant wheat. Just don't plant wheat. Don't do it. You, you, plant first thing you do is plant tomatoes because that's going to be the first thing available to you when you unlock Goofy's shack. And you can use tomatoes for a while until you unlock um, the beach. And when you get to the beach, then you can upgrade to the next item. Um, let's see. Um, notepad. Let me get up my notepad here. Yeah, tomatoes are going to take you 25 minutes to grow. And they're going to give you your best return for the first crops. Carrots um, are going to be your next crop you can buy from the beach. From Goofy's hut. Oops, I need my watering can. I can't water with a shovel. You dingling. There we go. Carrots are gonna take 15 minutes. And later on you can cook those carrots into a stew or just use them raw to make crudite. Um and then once you unlock the canola, that's your money maker right there. No matter what level you are, what area you're in. Canola is going to be your big money maker. You buy as many seeds as you can afford at first. You plant all of those. If you dig up ground, plant all those. When you harvest them, you do the same thing. Dig up more ground, buy as many seeds as you can. And do the same thing. Rinse, repeat. And that's going to allow you to get more and more and more funds each time you harvest. Do I have any seeds on me? I do. I've got 52 seeds. I'm going to plant some seeds here. Next to my house, I usually save this area for crops that I may need for special quests. Like some I may need carrots. And I'm going to be playing for a while, so I'll plant all my carrots here that I need for that quest. So as soon as they're ready, I can turn around, harvest them, use them for that quest, turn it in. Bingo, bingo, bongo. There we go. And one more here. One more on the corner. We got full patch here. Whoops, didn't mean to change. Now you want to keep an eye on these crops. Make sure they're watered. See how it looks like in the animation. They have the water dripping from them. Uh, that means they're well watered. They're hydrated. They don't need any more attention from you, just the sun. And when you 
you know that they are needing some water when later on they change to where it looks like there's a little bit of dust. Oh, Minnie Mouse is sleeping. We want to pick that up. There we go. No, we want to pick that up. There we go. Pick it up. Thank you. Very good. Very good. All right, Moose. Let's pick up these six. Six to pick up. We got mining to do for today's dream light. So we're going to leave the flowers because I need those later. I'm trying to put that bench there and kind of rock them my own way. Go around my house, get around the other side. Voila! All right, another trick to make sure that your cops are, are watered when you are out of the area. You can open up your map. Go to your map, and it's going to show you if they need water. Ooh, wait. There's one there. Need some water. Let's go take care of it. See how it's brown? Let's give her a little water. There we go. Perfect. Now. One of the other quests involved cooking. Here's where you can cook. You can either cook in your house or you can go to Remy's restaurant. Looks like Anna would like some house. ratatouille. Uh, Mickey also has a stove in his place. Remy has a stove in his place, but you can't use it right now. It's bugged. Um, we'll go into that more later. Just can't use that stove. It, the animation tries to bring you into it so you can walk up to it and then it moves away. So. We are going to the dreamlight. Planting five vegetables. Done. Remove four night thorns. Done. Hatching three seafood. We might do that today. Taking a picture. Oh, that's an easy one. Let's show you how that's done. We open up our menu. Camera. Select your camera. You can move it around. So, oh wait, there's Remy in the background. Maybe he's gonna, Remy's gonna strike a pose. There we go. Move back over here. Is Anna going to strike a pose while she's sitting? I don't think so. <gasps> Donald will. Hey, Donald. There we go. There we go. That's how we take a picture. Very easy. 50 dream light. Just like that. Sell one mineral. Well, seeing as we already mined a mineral. We've got one more to go and we'll get the 250. So we need to prepare a three-star meal. Here is a little trick. As soon as I un opened this restaurant, or unlocked it for Remy, I should say, really, um, I noticed that you have available to you cheese, milk, eggs, and butter right off the bat. The peanuts arrived after I upgraded the restaurant once. Very handy. Peanuts are great for squirrels. You feed them to the squirrels. And the squirrels love peanuts the most, so you get uh, you get squirrels as friends. So anyhow, what I did was, just out of curiosity, I grabbed a cheese, grabbed a milk, grabbed an eggs, grabbed a butter. Hit check, and then you put all those items you just bought into the pot. Put that butter, put the cheese, throw the eggs, throw the milk, cook them up, and what do you get? A souffle, and it's a four-star meal. There you go, folks, a free four-star meal. So if you ever have somebody you have to feed a four-star or less, there is one where you need to give, uh, give Maui a five-star meal, and it's not too difficult to cook up a five-star meal. You just gotta look one up. I think it's the, uh, what is it? Let's look it up here. Um, it's one of the salads. Ranch salad. The ranch salad. Thank you, love. We have, ooh, it's not on this list, is it? Ranch salad, there it is. Lettuce, bell pepper. Corn, tomato, and onion. And those are fairly common ingredients by the time you've unlocked Maui. He wants you to cook him up a five-star meal. That's probably going to be the easiest one to make. Uh, 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 
Yes, the shack by Wally's, but you need to unlock Wally, and then you have to fix up that garden, and that takes a little bit of work. There is another place, once you get eggplant, and you get eggplant from, let me double check, make sure I'm, I'm right before I say it. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Eggplant can be bought once you unlock the frosted heights. Okay, so that's a little ways away. So like I said, the the easiest five-star meal is going to be the ranch salad. Because right off the bat, you've got the plaza. And you can get uh, the apple trees, the raspberry bushes, and oregano is going to grow there. I'll put up the map, so... Let's see. Let's click that first. Put up the map before... So I can show everybody where that's at. We gotta go outside, otherwise it won't show us the map. Here we go. Okay, now that we're outside. Oh, oh, it'll show you the map in your house. It won't show me the map when I'm in Remy's restaurant. Okay. Oh wait. That won't show. All right, I was wrong. So when you start off, you're showing, you're showing the plaza, and. Uh, basically, Merlin will introduce you to Scrooge, to Minnie, to Goofy, and those are the those are the first four characters that you get to know in the game. Um, and then, uh, and since Goofy lives in the Peaceful Meadow, the Peaceful Meadow will be open to you right off the bat. One of the first things you'll do in the game during that tutorial, while Merlin is showing you around, Merlin, I can't even talk. Honestly, I'm going to have to keep this short again today. Um, but uh, speaking of keeping the video short, I'm really excited we're going to a concert next week. This week. Tomorrow. Wow. Okay. Uh, friendly reminder. It is Suicide Prevention and Awareness Month. Suicide Prevention Week. Uh, the week of September 10th. And today is the 12th. So I'm going to remind everybody... Um, you know, reach out, check in on everybody, your friends, your family. Um, it could be a stranger, you know, Moose, just say, hey, you how you okay? doing? How's your day? You know, okay, Moose, and most of us are trained yourself, pretty much, uh, you're going to respond, I'm okay, I'm doing good, or how are you? And, you know, sometimes you can tell they're not really exactly good. And some people have learned not to just straight up say, I'm good. They'll say, I've been better. You know, just don't just blow it off. You know, take a little time every once in a while. I'm not saying you have to engage everybody in conversation, but every once in a while, reach out, be a friend. If you want to find a friend, you're going to have to be a friend. And you don't have to agree with everybody on everything. You know, just being friendly with somebody for one day could be a new friend for an hour. Could be a new friend for a week. You never know. Anyhow, back to the game. That was your friendly public service announcement. Um, Merlin talks to you and tells you about Goofy's shack over here and... Uh, is it Merlin or is it Goofy? I think Goofy actually brings you over to the shack, says he'd, he'd like your assistance to get it running again. It's run down. But anyhow, um, you do, you get this shack going, and once Goofy's shack is going here in the peaceful meadow, you can sell banana trees, raspberry bushes, lettuce, wheat, carrot, and basil. Uh, you do have to upgrade that shack to its maximum before you can sell all those items. I forget exactly what's available to you right off the bat. I think it's like wheat and carrots is the very first item. So, um, I was going to say tomatoes, but tomatoes don't come into play until the next area. The next area, Dazzle Beach. Um, what I did was I walked down these stairs and there's some great big thorns here. And you pay, I think it's 4,000 or 3,000 Dreamlight to unlock Dreamlight, Dazzle Beach. My beach. Wow. Uh, yeah, I cannot talk at all tonight. You can't get over this bridge because it's blocked by some stuff here um, that you later can get rid of. But Goofy has a shack here that you can sell stuff, buy and sell items. Uh, one of the first things I recommend as soon as you unlock an area is go open that shack, even if it's only one level that you can afford open it so you can sell stuff. When you're in this area and you're gathering shells and you're knocking out um, mining and picking flowers, you're going to want to be, you're not going to have to run all the way back up here to sell it. 
that's a bit of a walk. So you unlock that shack, you can run around here, you pick up shells and do some mining and run back here and sell it and repeat the process. Rinse, repeat. I, I recommend at the beginning of the game, you're going to be doing that a lot. As soon as you start, you're going to run around the plaza and clean it up, make the place all look nice. Same thing with Peaceful Meadow. You're going to run around, make that look all nice because at first it's going to be overgrown with thorns and rocks and flowers and basil and oregano and other stuff you're going to need to pick up and straighten up. Same thing with Dazzle Beach. Each and every new area you open, now I sound like a telemarketer that's trying to scam you. Each and every one. Uh, Dazzle Beach. Great area. Um, you get a quest from Moana to unlock her boat. Goofy gives you a quest to fix up a boat. Next thing I unlocked was the Forest of Valor. Love that waterfall. Forest of Valor is a great place to go because that's where you meet Kristoff and and you unlock Are you awake? Oh. Hey, of course he's awake. He's here with me. You unlock Donald Duck. Make sure to talk to your people every day. Because that is, uh... Oh, I don't know. I, I, I... Of course. Feed his ego. He likes that stuff. Okay, let's get out our watering can. Um, but that's a little bit of the map there. Um, as you unlock each area, you go, you show... You gain access to new crops. Once you unlock that last area, so the Dazzle Beach, you get the banana tree, the blueberry bush. Coconut tree after you've leveled up with Maui. Um, corn, tomato, sugar cane. The, the Glade of Trust, which is on the opposite set, side, way over there, um, you get access to the, uh, the lemon tree, okra, spinach. Um, let's see. What else? Cocoa, lemon tree, okra, spinach, rice, and mushroom. The Forest of Valor, where the, first, the, the second area I unlocked. Get the lemon tree, blueberry bush, the bell peppers, onions, canola, and garlic. Those, that canola is going to be your staple for making money. Um, when you unlock the Sunlit pl Plateau, which is over here on the other side, down here is the Glade of Trust, the Sunlit Plateau, you're going to get cherry trees, cocoa trees, chili powder, chili peppers. Yeah, there are cherry trees in the plateau. There's cocoa trees and cherry trees, aren't there? Mm, I'll have to check that out. Um, chili pepper, zucchini, soya, cotton, and vanilla. As you can see, I have to replant. I have to rewater the canola. Oh my god, I thought she was throwing up. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. In the frosted heights, you get the cherry trees. I know you get the cherry trees in the frosted heights. Frosted heights. Maybe it's a typo. Uh, the Frosted Heights, I think I spent four, no, was it more? I remember it being a lot at the time. It just seemed like it was way too much and I had to save up for it. Um, and I thought that was how I was going to get Anna and Elsa, but unfortunately I was wrong. So don't make the mistake I made and unlock areas of the map thinking that they're going to allow you access to those characters. They don't. The only way you're going to gain access to those characters is like Marlin tells you, if I'd have listened, going through the castle, and opening the doors, and go to those areas. There's, those areas on the map are bonus because it unlocks more materials and things you can harvest to complete quests that you get from your friends. So that's it for watering that. We need to water this side now. Uh, 
Frosted Heights, you get the cherry tree, gooseberry bush, asparagus, cucumber, eggplant, and mint. Also, the uh, in the Forgotten Lands, you unlock the apple tree, the gooseberry bush, the leek, the potato, the pumpkin, and ginger. The potato I actually got because I've got Wally up to a high enough level. And he has a garden now, which was one of the quests I needed to complete for him. So he's got a garden, and he will plant items, and I got my first potato at his garden. Didn't even know potatoes were a thing in the game yet until I picked those there. So I'm learning as I'm going and sharing it with you folks because you're awesome. Looks like we got some plants over here that need some attention. Yep. See how that one's not completely brown yet, but it's showing the dust. That means it's still growing, but it's about ready to need need some watering them. And I believe that when they're in that brown state where they need water, when they're completely brown, I don't think they're doing any growing. It only takes 35 minutes to grow canola. I say only, but compared to some of the other crops, it's a, it takes a long time. Um, so you want to keep an eye on that. Just make sure they're well watered. Take care of your crops. Something else I need to do for my character is I have a number of quests that require me to have... Yay! Number of quests that require me to have rope. And rope is kind of hard to come by because you need fiber for the rope. In order to make fiber, you need to have seaweed. And I think you need like five fiber for each rope. And it's insane what you need to gain the rope for those quests. So I recommend anybody that starts playing the game to make sure to go and get yourself your fishing pole that you get from Goofy right off the bat. Go up to the water, start fishing. Keep all the seaweed you have. Keep all the seaweed you gain. See, we're going to sell... I'm going to keep the peanuts, because I like to give peanuts to the squirrels. Squirrels are pretty easy to make friends with. They come right up to you. Um, the carrots I like to keep, because I like to give those to the rabbits. Flour I'm going to sell. The basil I'm going to sell, all of them. I'm going to sell the coal ore this time, but generally I like to keep 100, 150 in my home. I know I've got a hundred in my home right now, so I'm just gonna sell this to clear up my inventory so I can keep running around and gathering the iron ore I need. White daisy, I'm gonna sell. The seafood soup, I'm gonna sell that. The potato, sell it. Veggie platter, sell it. Banana, sell it. Pretty much everything I've got here, I'm going to sell. The canola sells for a lot. Select how many of each item you want to sell. I'm selling everything just to clear out my inventory. And if I wanted to, I'd hold on to those red falling pen stemmons because they are helpful to give to the birds. You can have birds as well. They're little... Oh, why did I do that? Well, I was thinking about... I was thinking about opening up this map and showing you... I think it's the Sunlit Plateau, yeah. Sunlit Plateau where I have unlocked. There is a bird. A critter. I believe it's one of these sunbirds. Yeah, on the Sunlit Plateau. But I don't think it's the ravens. They're on the Forgotten Lands. So it's the hummingbirds up here. They love those red... Um... I've forgotten how it was pronounced. So go on. Uh, red. Doo -doo -doo. Got a lot on my mind here. Red falling pen stemmons. Okay, so let's go back. To, no, we didn't want to eat it. Oh, well, maybe we did. Our energy is a little low. We're going to need it for um, mining and picking up stuff. Let's go ahead and eat that before we start selling again. All right. And zoom back in. That's kind of a bug. It hasn't. Done that a couple of times on me. Howdy, Howdy Goof. We're going to buy some 
vanilla seed beads. We're gonna need those. We'll need those when our crops ripen up. But we're gonna spend the money now, so we still have. And we're gonna sell the flower. Sell everything we got here, except for the stuff we just bought. Obviously. I'll be that, 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 that. We're going to go ahead and sell the flowers. Hold on to those. It's got a little purple marking next to it, meaning that somebody need is requiring you to use it for one of the quests. So we're going to hold off on that. Now we sell that. 136. Very nice. Very nice. All right, Goofy. Been nice seeing you. We're off to do some mining and see if we can get some more quests completed. There we go. Gained 500 star coins. Sold one mineral. Mined two minerals. Now it's asking us to prepare a two-star meal. It's 125 free Dreamlight. So it's really easy to gain Dreamlight also in these areas of foraging, gardening, fishing, cooking, collection, friendship, village, and mining. To, uh, you can gain a lot of coins by just following those. Let's see. Where is the one that requests you, that, that gives you um, dream light for watering flowers? I did not realize that was one until yesterday. That was a new one on me. Water dried vegetables. So if you let those vegetables go ahead and dry before you water them again, you do get some points for it. Selling your vegetables, harvesting your vegetables naturally. See that? Not, not going to be in fishing, catching seafood. Different areas has have different goals also. Cooking. Oh, of course, of course. Cook three star meals or better. Maybe I should just go in there and cook like 45 meals. Cook two star meals or better. Cook four star meals or better. Cook fruit based meals. Fine. And selling those meals. You can kill two birds with one stone. Just cooking meals. Cook with spices. Well, well, well. Yeah, I haven't focused a lot on cooking. Uh, friendship, I've been doing a lot of. Making friends, getting friends of a certain level, having daily discussions is one. Uh, making best friends, you want to do that. Um, you, just, you just do what, do what I'm suggesting. You do everything with a friend at your side. Uh, bring friends their favorite gifts. So I always check and see what somebody's favorite gift is. We got uh, the village. You can gain dream light by upgrading Moana's boat, repairing houses, upgrading your house. There's there's a lot of things you can do to gain dream light. I do have a couple of items I wanted to open. The pouch, yeah. Gives me a motif. There we go. And we have another one. Small pouch full of motifs you can use to decorate your building. Let's open it up and see what we got this time. Ooh. Alrighty. Anything else we need to open? No, we'll hold off. Goofy's stall parts. Goofy gave you these parts of a stall to use as a base to build Kristoff's new stall. Kristoff wants me to help him to build a stall. So, let's see. First thing I want to do while I'm up here is I know there's some place to mine right over here. I need iron ore and lots of it. So every time I'm up in this area, I mine it. Every once in a while, I will go and grab Scrooge because he is my friend that has mining as his little pal, pal buddy thingy. Um, every time you get one of your friends to level two, when you unlock a new friend, they're going to ask you to pull to select an ability, basically foraging, gardening, fishing, um, mining. 
and each of those is going to give you a little bit of a bonus when you do that with your friends. Um, so make sure to use... There we go. There's the event that's going on. I can't really... I can't buy the premium because my account is bugged right now. Hopefully they'll fix it soon. It's not the case with everybody's, it's just with mine. I tried to fix it before I logged on today. That was one of the reasons why I was late. That and trying to set up my audio a little bit better. Hopefully it sounds better today than it did yesterday. Let's see, picking up those flowers. I'm going to go ahead and pick flowers every once in a while just because they are worth money. We'll get those lemons. And there's a little foxy. I don't know what the foxes eat. I don't know what their favorite treat is. I haven't discovered that one yet, but when I do, I'll share that in a video. Let's go down to the beach, since we're up here, nearby. Because there's something else that once you unlock this, you're going to want to do it every day. Make sure to come down to the beach. You're going to want to pick up the sand, because that's part of the quest you get from Kristoff. Pick up the shellfish, the scallops, the clams. You need those for uh, a quest from Goofy. Um, when you're ready to go and unlock Ursula, her cave is over here around the corner. So when you unlock the beach, her cave is over here. Um, I unlocked it from over here. And then discovered that I unlocked this side when I did that. So you can unlock it from either place and it will unlock both accesses. Access points? Accesses? Accessing? Axi? Axes. <laughs> Axes. <laughs> Alright, Donald. Let's... Over here. I want to unlock Elsa next. I but I'm going to need to... Now keep following the path. And to the left. Up there. Flowers, flowers. This is the stall that Moana asks you to help her re fix her boat. And you get this stall after you fix her boat. She regularly goes out and does some fishing and gathers the fish. She has a fish cap right now of 10 out of 10. There She's full, and you get these for free. You know, it's every 10 minutes you come down here and you collect those goodies. You can turn around and eat them. You can sell them. Um, Ursula asks you to go to a cave, and this is the cave that you need to go to. Oh, do I have any um, seaweed? I do. I've got one seaweed. And here, my friend, is a turtle. We want to make friends with the turtles. So there he goes. He let's me approach him. You just have to stand close to him. The turtles will initially, if they're hungry, they'll hide their head in their shell when you come by them. And then you just need to wait for them to stick their head back out of their shell. And then you can approach them. Donald was a little bit too close to me at that point, so I couldn't really tell. So I walked up, inched up a little closer. There we go. We're going to do a little bit of fishing. Hope we get some more kelp because we can use it. No, nope, we got fish, but we can eat it or sell it. Uh, the bubbles come in three different colors. The white, the blue, and the yellow or gold. If you're looking for kelp, I usually recommend going for like shallow areas or away from the bubbles. Nice. There's some, there's some kelp for me. Now fishing is not a very efficient or fast way to level up. So I don't give that to many people. Um, before I discovered the wonder of gardening, um, I made both Goofy and Moana um, gardeners with me. As you can see, Goofy's shack here, he's got some 
sugarcane seeds that you can buy. Sugarcane seed, you buy that for five gold each. And let's see, we got tomatoes and corn. Each of those are great options for selling and harvesting, but if you're just starting off and you're looking for the most bang for your buck, the tomatoes are the way to go. And we got some blue seed, blue, blue seed, blue seed, blue bubbles over here. There we go. And another friendly PSA it is Suicide Prevention and Awareness Month. Reach out, be a friend. Let those you care about know that you, uh, you enjoy their presence. Whether it's just saying hi, I love you, take care of yourself. Glad to see you. You're doing all right. You know, you don't necessarily have to get all touchy feely. Just a little reach out, let people know that you're available. Seriously. I've got this opened up, so I'm going to run across the bridge, harvest these. Oh no! My inventory is full. Well, you know what that means. I get to go and talk to the turtle. Hey turtle, come on out. I'm turtly enough for you. There we go. Now we give the turtle a little, little goody goody. Where do we, where do we put that seaweed? Oh, we only got one seaweed. But you're worth it, my friend. Have some seaweed. Yes, I love you too. Thank you. Have a good day. I'm glad that was my last seaweed, actually, because he gave me that bag. I wouldn't have been able to pick that up otherwise. So let's dig that up. We gotta keep this place clean, you know. My inventory is full, so we're gonna call up Goofy here. It's going good, thank you. Okay. What are we gonna sell here? We gotta hold on to that. Sell that flower. Oh, I don't want to sell the clam. We're just trying to try and use it, use it for some of my recipes. All right, let's hold on to it since we're up here. Um, sand, I'm going to sell it. Flour, I'm going to sell. Flour, I'm going to sell. Flour, I'm going to sell. I'll hold on to the fishies. And the coal ore, like I said, I've got 100 of them at home. Fishy. I need the shrimp. I need the shrimp. Thank you for giving me a shrimp. I need that for one of my quests. Oh, I just exited out of it instead of selling it. I guess I was supposed to keep it all. All right, we'll run back up here to my home. Oh, man. What are you telling me here? I don't have room for it. Well, I guess I'm going to have to put down the flower. Sorry. Hey Donald, you can have that flower. Oh my goodness, I need to re I need to rewater these. Oh Gain. When's it gonna rain in the game? When it rains in the game, you don't have to water your plants at all. It's really helpful. You can just plant them up, get it done. I know I've been playing for more than 30 minutes, but these things need water, and every time they go brown, they don't grow. They're probably going to harvest after this last time, though. I'm guessing. I think I... I think I can get the rest of these watered, get back to my house, refill my watering can, or refill my energy. Watering can never empties. Come up here. I'm going to have to uh, check out my settings as well because I think some of the songs that these people are humming in the background are getting my my videos flagged for copyright infringement. Thank you, Disney. There is a setting in the settings that turns off the music in the game. Background music. So that way your videos do not get flagged for copyright infringement. I've got that turned off. It still plays music, but apparently music that it's, uh, that they don't feel is going to get it flagged for copyright infringement. But for some reason, I'm still getting flagged. Um, I've had half of my videos have gotten flagged for copyright infringement. And I don't know if it's because of songs that Disney, that uh, 
Mickey is singing in the background or the little ditty that's playing in the background now. But it used to play more songs, a lot more songs from many of the movies, and I really enjoyed it. Oh my gosh, my inventory is full, I forgot. Okay, let's go do some cooking then, since we got the materials for it. And I'm dragging out this video longer than I was initially intending. Oh, do -do 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 -do, coconut. Oh, that's from my inventory at home. So let's throw in that perch. Let's throw in the oyster. Let's throw in a potato. And uh, maybe some soya. And we'll see what we get. Random recipes here. We got a seafood appetizer. Sweet! I can sell that, and that just got rid of a few items in my inventory. Hopefully it sells for more than the items would have. Salmon. Ooh. And lemon. Oh, I wonder if I've got a recipe that involves salmon. There's a seafood appetizer. But I'm pretty sure there is a recipe that involves let me double check let me double check check my recipes I have a notepad here I made my notes on I highly recommend you do the same thing there's going to be so many recipes and so hard to keep track of them all um most of them are going to show up on your screen here, like the grilled veggie platter, but it doesn't tell you what in, what veggies you need. If you don't use the right ones, um, you end up with crudite. Um, crudite is really easy. Just throw a carrot in there. That's all I use for my crudite. It doesn't tell you what vegetable. If you use any other vegetable, I think you'll still get crudite because it's a pretty simple dish, but it also says grilled vegetables is one of any vegetable. So that doesn't really work. Let's see. Uh, the salmon I was thinking about doing. Um, I know I had a salmon dish. Oh no, rainbow trout. Sorry, don't have a salmon dish, I guess. Thought I did, but maybe we can discover one. Let's see. If we use that. Cook those two. What do we get? Savory fish. Okay. Not too difficult. Let's throw one potato in and see if it gives us crudite or vegetable soup or gives us a puree nice there's a new one one potato is puree what if I cook a single coconut a single coconut is fruit salad I should have known singular fruits generally mean your fruit Wheat, coconut, and butter. Oh, my inventory is full. Yikes! See, I haven't been using more ingredients than recipes I've been making. So we'll throw some soya in there. And throw in a couple of cod. <laughs> Just trying to empty out my wrist. My, uh, okay, and we'll throw in a herring. That'll get rid of a lot of ingredients for one dish. And we'll get one grilled fish, which is not going to sell for as much as I would have been able to sell that stuff for. But at least it emptied out my my inventory a little bit. Okay, so the coconut. You said uh, the butter. Coconut, wheat, and butter. Alright, so we got the butter. I don't know if I have any wheat on me. That's the thing. No, I got rice. Uh, okay, that'll be interesting. Butter, rice, and coconut. Let's see what we get, folks. 
You're seeing it here for the first time. Oh no! <laughs> crackers! We got crackers! We can get crackers by throwing a singular wheat in there. Oh, crud. <laughs> That's too good. Oh man. That is too much. Okay, I think I'm done with the cooking. Sorry, Donald. You had to sit around and watch me play around in the stove. And I promised you we were going planting and harvesting. Oh my goodness, my inventory is full. Let's go back to the house. Drop some of this stuff off that I know I want to keep. Check our map really quick, make sure none of our crops are needing. Oh, that one needs some TLC. Let's go back over there first and water that. Because it's not going to grow until it, got, it gets got watered. It needs some water. There we go. You're looking a little dry, and the rest of your friends are all fully grown. There we go. We're not going to pick on you. We're going to feed you and nourish you and lift you up. They'll drag you down. Just like in Suicide Prevention Week. We want to lift each other up. Alright, let's go to open our storage. Gotta save that because I need that for the quest. Need to save those. I need those for a quest. Need to save those because I need those for a quest. And I need to save that. That is about it for the items I need to save. That I can think of. Except for the sand. I do have sand. We were keeping that. Um, I might as well save. Yeah, but... For some reason, I kept telling myself, I need to keep sand. I need to keep the sand. We're going to keep those. Keep those. Keep that. Keep this, that, and the other. Because they go together as a set. Now, dang it. I think that's it. As I'm looking over the items I have, um, I do have two carrots. I might need to plant carrots here soon because I only have two more left. And the bunny rabbits need their snacky snacks. Um, what was the other snacky snack item? I used to keep peanuts, carrots, seaweed. and seaweed. Oh, but I need I need to keep collecting seaweed for the... Um, for the turtles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer that into my storage. I'm going to split seaweed the seaweed. I need the seaweed for the fiber and rope. But I always want to keep one on hand for transfer. There we go. I always want to keep a seaweed, peanut, and carrot for giving to the critters. Because you want to keep the critters happy. Make critters happy. Keep critters happy. Go to your inventory. Go to your wardrobe. You can see what kind of critters you've unlocked. I cannot access the critters while I'm in my house. Okay, well then. There will be no critters in the house. Critters will stay outside. I'm always right. So we open up inventory. I don't know. What is Moose doing in the house? Because she's spoiled. Companions, there we go. Right there in the wardrobe list. You get companions, and I've got Choco Crocodile, a red squirrel, a black squirrel, a brown squirrel, and a classic squirrel. What makes him classic, you may ask? Because he's got a monocle. I don't know. Don't ask me. This squirrel are always brown? What, you've never seen a black squirrel? Or a yellow squirrel? Or a green squirrel? these up. I'm going to plant. I'm going to. Before we do that, let's double check our dream light. We prepared the meal. We feed a critter. We sell two fish. Catch three fish. Catch three seafood. Bring two gifts. Oh, check this out. Bring two gifts? Well, that's pretty doggone easy. I have something to give you, Donald. How'd you like a flower? Bingo. That's, that should be one. And 
wares, the next person is going to receive a gift from me. It's going to be Goofy. Hey, Goofy. I'd like a gift. Let's see what you like today. Cod, a garnet, a Rendellian pickled herring. Arendellian pickled herring. What is an Arendellian pickled herring? Arendelle, that makes sense. Where else would you get an Arendellian pickled herring other than Arendelle? Duh! Well, I'll give you a fish anyways, Goofy. You like it? I'm so glad. You have time to talk? Let's talk. Got a curious look on your face. Do you have a question for me? How do you stay so cheerful all the time? Well, I'm not always cheerful, but I sure try to be. If I'm feeling down, I try to think about a real good memory of spending time with my friends. That's sure to put a big smile on my face. And there you have it, folks. Word of advice from Goofy. Let's go to our dream light. We brought two gifts. Easy. Have a daily discussion. Easy. Now we need to harvest five vegetables. Bring a friend their favorite gift. And the easiest way to find out what your friend's favorite gifts are, open up the characters selection. Merlin today. Favorite things of the day on the bottom right. Empty vial. Blue falling penstemon hors d'oeuvres. Wally would like sugarcane, red bromelade, and bromeline. Maui would like tropical pop, perch, pumpkin. Moana would like pastry cream and fruits, salmon, and blue star lily. Sorry, Moana. I just cooked the salmon I had. Remy would like a veggie casserole, okra, mushroom pizza. I might be able to make that veggie casserole, Remy. Ursula would like a peanut butter sandwich. That's not too difficult. I just need wheat. Uh, purple marsh milkweed. Potato leek soup. Kristoff would like a stone wedding cake or a cucumber. You know what, Kristoff? I think I just might have a stone sitting in my house. Anna would like fish risotto. Lancet fish. Paella. Yellow nasturtium. Nasturtium. Hello, Nasturtium. Okay. It's a flower. Yes. Um, Donald Duck's favorite things of the day. Waffles. That's pretty simple. Um, tuna and green passion lily. Um, the waffles. Remember how you had to make a waffle? You had to make a... a um, um, peanut butter one for Remy. Oh, I never tried to make a... Oh. I don't think I've run yet that level. Yeah, because that is. Where was that peanut butter? I'll have to open up my uh, my recipe book and find it again. But uh, waffles. Let me check my list here. Might have it on here. Zucchini. The wedding cake. Waffles. Wheat, milk, egg, and any sweet. I bet the sugar cane would work. For that specialty dish that you had to make for Remy, it gives you the recipe when he asks you to make it. It's wheat, milk, egg, and peanuts. Because Remy loves peanuts. And so he asks you to make him those two dishes with peanuts. Donald wants waffles, tuna, green passion lily. We just went through these. I think what I'm going to do... Well, I know Scrooge McDuck would like an iron ore. He almost always wants an iron ore. And I don't know why. Do I have an iron ore on me? No. I don't have a stone. So what I'll do is I'm going to run back home. And since we just sold the items we needed to sell. We have room in our inventory now to harvest. So let's start on this end. 
And we'll harvest. And watch as Donald's level goes up. See how Donald starts dropping random vanilla as we harvest. Makes it really easy as we go along. There we go. When it starts glowing yellow like that, you can tell um, that that's a, a that if it's a plant like an apple tree, um, it's so much easier. But that generally means that while it's glowing like that, you can harvest it as many times while it's glowing. Um, the reason I don't stop while I'm harvesting my plants is it doesn't really do me a lot of good because of the time it takes me to stop harvesting, turn around, and harvest that one spot, I only get one or two more from it before it stops glowing. Yeah, well... The problem is, I keep pressing and keep pressing, and then I end up by planting, and you cannot unplant. And if you have any other seeds in your inventory that you don't want to plant yet, or not ready to plant, then you just plant it, and you can't take it back. And that's just so frustrating for a perfectionist like me. I want them all planted at the same time. And... I don't know, maybe it's a little bit of OCD... But I gotta stand close enough to these so it switches to harvest and not plant. There we go. Harvest away, my friend. Harvest away. We've been streaming now for an hour. And that's pretty good. It's a whole lot longer than I was intending on streaming for today. I was gonna do just a short video, a little bit of instructional, a little bit of guidance. A little, bit, a little bit of encouragement. Tell everybody to keep being awesome. Because you're all awesome. And if you don't believe it, just ask Mickey. The 500 canola? You're planting 500 canola at a time. At a time. Oh, you have 500 canola. I'm planting about 170 at a time right now. I'm not... I'm not going to push it anymore because there are times when I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, I, I don't want to be planting and harvesting as much as I am, but I need the funds in order to upgrade my home and Scrooge's home and Donald's home and Mickey's home and everybody wants something from me. So the Moose Meister must plant. So we keep planting and we keep harvesting. With a smile on our face because we know our friends enjoy it, and that's what makes us happy. Knowing we're making a positive difference in the world. And you can too. Put a smile on your face, you'll be friendly. You'll make a difference in somebody's life today. Start planting. As soon as we get these harvested, we'll go harvest the other side over by the restaurant. Go sell them and see what our profits are because we don't need to rebuy. We've already bought our next crop. Everything from here is gravy. And with Donald's help, my goodness, look at all these extras he dropped. He dropped a lot here. If you don't pick those up immediately, it will stop glowing and you will have to manually tell it to pick up, which is fine. It's no big deal. I do that for the sticks, do it for the plants, do harvesting just about anything else, but it just makes it a little bit easier if it automatically does it for you just by running by it. Oh, my inventory is full. I cannot. I cannot. Okay, does that mean. Do I have room in my inventory in the house to drop off something that I may need for later? Well, I do want those sticks, so we can drop that off in the house. Because we will need that. Tiny Peridot. I wonder if that's is that one of the ones that Scrooge wanted? If so, he just lucked out. If not, that's okay. Because he's going to get one. Hey, Uncle Scrooge, I got something for you. Where you at? There you is. I got gifting for you. 
A gifting, a gifting. Here comes a gifting. There we go. I wonder if the shiny one will do. That's gonna count as your favorite item. I leveled up. Yay! There we go. Level 34. Max energy is increased and I unlocked what looks like a curio. Curio? Cabinet? Can't talk right now, Scrooge. Love ya. But I gotta go. Donald and I have some crops to harvest. Oop, I got lost. I got lost. There we go. We're not over there. We're over here. Okay, I'm wearing the cap that Kristoff gave me. I need to change my outfit for the daily goal. I already did that when I swapped into this outfit for Donald's quest. That one should be fairly easy to complete. I believe it involves something to do with fishing. Oh, I didn't want to plant that. See, I just... I lifted up the button and then I pushed it back down and it immediately went to planting. I couldn't unplant it. Once I once I pushed the button down the second time, that was it. That was done. That's all she wrote. Thank you, Donald. Appreciate the free stuffs. Anybody that you've got helping you with harvesting, I'm gonna do that for you. Okay, so let's run up here. Okay, how do you goofy sell these? See what our profits are. Sell. Uh, maybe I'll hold on to the penstemon for now. Purple falling penstemon. We're gonna sell. Shiny garnet. Canola. Canola. We're gonna sell. Sell, sell, sell. 50. 33, 1, 50, 2, 2, seafood platter. We might get credit for selling seafood for those two, and for selling fish for that one and those two. Now we need to go and do some fishing today. Thirty-nine k. Thank you, Goofy. We appreciate you. Yep, I made 39k from selling everything that I had just harvested. Well, yeah, I think you're planting a whole lot more, so you're probably going to earn tons more. Plant seed, plant multiple. So we're going to go ahead and plant all this and hope for rain. I need some water here. My throat's getting a little bit dry. Uh, and it just keeps getting better all the time. I better be careful. I might get flagged again for copywriting. Copyright music. You know, how do people get away with it when they're streaming on Twitch? If any of you out there know this answer, please let me know. Um, how come I see people playing their guitars and playing songs that are popular on the radio and they don't get flagged? Well, first of all, they're just streaming on Twitch. So I know that. And YouTube is extremely anal about copyright infringement, which I can appreciate if I was a uh, if I was a songwriter and had my song uh, stolen by somebody. I'd be I'd be a, a little bit concerned. I'd want somebody to pay me some royalty or something for my songs 
I can I can understand that. But I've also heard stories of songwriters wrote little ditties. The ditties were posted and in a place where they could be used by somebody and that somebody then somebody turned around and used it with permission and it got copyright flagged. I've also heard of the very person that made the song used the song that they wrote in their video and it got flagged for copyright infringement. So, I mean, obviously there's really um, some work that needs to be done in that system, obviously. But, okay, let's do some planting and see if we can get Donald Duck up a little bit more levels. Plant some seed. Ah, I only did once. I did that wrong. Let's see. I gotta set it up right. Plant seed, and then we push and hold. That's the trick. Uh, the controls are not tricky, just my fingers are. They're tricky, they're tricky. I shouldn't have said that. Anybody know who's a, where that song came from? I'm sorry. I apologize. God forgive me. And God bless the pygmies in Africa. You know, I was never really a big Ron White fan, but for some reason that saying has stuck with me. I really don't know why. All right, hopefully all my settings on the microphone have worked out really well. I'd hate to see that my uh, my gain or any of the other settings have cut it out when I'm not talking loud enough or if I'm talking just loud enough for it to pick me up half the time and then cut me off when I'm, like, still talking. That'd be really frustrating. So uh, leave a note in the comments if you know anything about audio settings for microphones. Um, maybe you can make a, uh, a suggestion. If you know any critters in this game and what they like to be fed, what their favorite foods are, leave it down in the comments. We're going to try and make some critter friends throughout this game. I need to go and pick up some more peanuts from Remy's restaurant. There's Merlin in the background. He's just trotting along, visiting his friends, saying howdy doody everybody down the street. Donald, what level are you now? Are you about to level up? Because we've been planting here for a little while now, buddy. Am I going to have enough energy to make it to the end of this row? I don't think so. As much as it drops every time I plant, I might need to eat something just to finish these last two or three. Ooh, maybe, maybe we did it. Look at that. We had enough energy to finish that row. Perfect, perfect. All right, now we come back out. All it takes is a second. Step into your house, your energy refills, and you're ready for the next round. Tap A, hold A. That gives you an opportunity to change seeds that you want to plant. We're gonna finish planting this. And I think that's about going to do us for today. Um, I'm going to try and make some shorter instructional videos as well. But first I need to uh, fix the issue with uploading to the cloud and figure out if you can have multiple characters in this game. If you can only have one and you can't swap characters, then those individual videos may have to wait. Because I can't go back and redo those. Hey, there's Wally and Maui hanging out. Howdy, boys. How's the weather? Oh, I did not push and hold. Okay, push A for planting. Hold A. There we go. Push it once to start the process. Push it, hold it. The plant. And continue planting. All right, we got our watering can at the ready. Let's get some watering done. It'd also be nice if it started to rain maybe like a few minutes after I planted the crops. Just long enough to like take care of them until they're harvested. Because it does take 35 minutes. These should be ready. Thirty-five minutes, if the timer is correct.
If I keep them watered, they will be. But if they end up by going dried. There we go. Got a little bit of points. A little bit of dream light. Hi, Moana. I'll be back with you in a moment. Give me a minute. Go fix that. I got my settings. Hey, Donald, there you go. Level nine. See, we're bringing Donald level up pretty quickly here. The stretch, the home stretch from level nine to level ten, though, is quite a bit longer. From here on out, it's going to be just a. A lot larger amount of uh, XP. So the important thing is to just keep them with you. Pick up some sticks here. Harvest apples. Pick up more sticks. I see some vines down there that need to be picked up. And since I got that lobster, or the shrimp, I've got an ideal. I need to complete a quest for Goofy. So, I think if I'm going to do that, I will wrap up this video, and I'll make a short video on how to complete that quest for Goofy. Although it's an easy one, it's pretty self-explanatory. You just need to collect certain materials and then bring them to the kitchen and cook them up. I do have one more special tip I'm gonna share in the video and in the text of this video as I've been placing a tip of the day in every video so far. Um, today's tip's going to be a little bit different. It's more of a trick slash tip. Put that water bottle, water bottle. Yeah. Oh, we, we need that. We need that. Just a minute. We got to water these so they can start growing. Not going to do us any good to just throw the seed in the ground. You got to water it, nurture it, take care of it. Just like love. Got to give it attention. <laughs> That's the way I was supposed to do with you. Okay, let's check out what else. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Dreamlight. Gardening. Water dried vegetables. There's oh, 500. It's raining. Oh, it's raining. Nice. That's the second time it's been raining for you, and it hasn't rained it for me yet. It didn't rain at all yesterday. Isn't this the second time it's rained for you today? Uh -huh. Nice. My wife is the lucky one. Okay, so. Something I discovered. Um. Because I've been trying to complete this quest for a while. Let me bring it up and I'll show you the quests. Um, do, 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 do. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Um, I didn't complete it already, did I? Remy. Kristoff. Rope, clay, iron ingot. There it is. Dinner with a friend. Okay. Goofy seems to need some help. You decide to talk to him. In the process of organizing a dinner with Mickey, he needs someone to lend a hand with fishing out some ingredients. Now that you have all the ingredients, it's time to learn what Goofy wants to do with them. And it's up to you to prepare this meal. When you first start this quest, he just asks you to, you know, gather up this seafood on the beach. You need two shrimp, two clams, and two scallops. And then you need to go and cook bully base. Now, I thought I was using a bully base recipe that was. Oh my god! You know, I, I don't even remember where I got it. I think I looked for bully base recipe online. I got, I got Ooh, nice. And I got the wrong recipe. So I tried another recipe and it didn't work. Um, I think. Let me see if I still have it so I can help you folks avoid 
making the same mistake. Um, the bouillabaisse recipe that I tried was uh, any seafood times two, uh, shrimp, tomato, and any vegetable. That did not work. I tried another one with two clams, um, a shrimp, and tomato, and any vegetable. That didn't work. I tried two scallops, a shrimp, tomato, and any vegetable. It didn't work. Um, I tried a couple of different varieties with the shrimp, tomato, and vegetable, and kept on coming up with mush. Um, yeah, various various recipes. I even even discovered one, but this bouillabaisse one has eluded me. So it crossed my mind um, night before last, actually. Let me show you what I'm gonna do. To figure it out, um, you need to go here to the well in the center of the plaza, like you do when you want to go to the uh, when you want to travel. Oh, when you want to go travel somewhere, just like that. I just traveled right back to where I am. Um, pick your map, and you can fast travel to different areas. Like you can fast travel to that well. You can fast travel to this well. Fast travel to this well. Just once you've unlocked the well and repaired it, you can fast travel to them. It's a it's a great, quick, easy way to get around. Um, I prefer running around so you can, um, you know, harvest stuff, break apart rocks, um, get rid of the thorns. It helps you to complete quests. Um, unless I'm in a real hurry, I will usually walk. But this is a little trick that you will need to use the fast travel for, I think. No, I think you can walk to the castle also to get do this. But if you need to get here, you can fast travel to Moana, Ratatouille, Wally, or Frozen realms. When you go to unlock these realms the first time, you actually have to walk to the, the castle and click on the door. And so we're going to go to the Ratatouille realm where you get Remy. When you first come here, you start right here. And Remy is standing over here talking to you. He's like got, he's got some meals he's got to prepare and he needs your help. So he asks you for some help. First thing you need to do for him though is wash some dishes. Obviously, what does everybody do when they start off in a professional kitchen? You start as a dishwasher, man. You work your way up. Not always. But you gotta earn your position, okay? Basically, you gotta wash some dishes. And one of the things I noticed while I was doing that is there's these fruits standing around. And as I got close to the stands, it allows you to open them up and look at them. Well, you do use these for recipes that Remy gives you. Later on, you help Remy cook. Something I learned is that you can click on these and pick up the materials you need. Say, for instance, um, one of the things that Remy needs you to make for him is bouillabaisse. So, I mean, not bouillabaisse, uh, ratatouille. He wants you to make some ratatouille for him. So the first thing he does is he tells you that you need to pick up these ingredients. And you run around the kitchen and you pick them up. So what we're going to do is we'll go and we'll pick up. There we go. Ratatouille eggplant, tomato, zucchini, onion, and any herb. We got the eggplant. We got one eggplant. We got a tomato. We got a zucchini. And we need an onion and any herb. So we come over here, we grab an herb. Let's say we want to use a oregano. Oh, we've got oregano in our stash already. And an onion. We run over here to the pot. And you throw them in there. Get your tomato. Your eggplant. Your zucchini. 
onion, and any herb. Throw it together. And you've made ratatouille. Now that helps a lot because now it's not only allowed you to learn the recipe when you're here with Remy, but later on, like now, when I need to make the recipe for Goofy, the bouillon base, I need shrimp, clams, and scallops. Don't know if he has shrimps, clams, and scallops in his kitchen. So I think I'm going to be out of luck with that. But for anything else that he that you do see the ingredients for here, you can pick up the ingredients and you can learn. Pick up some corn. Pick up some onion. Pick up some butter. Wait, get some wheat. Throw some wheat in there also. See if that helps. Throw the wheat, corn, onion, butter, basil, and bingo. Veggie pie. And now I know how to make a veggie pie. I would highly recommend writing down these recipes. So you don't actually use your actual ingredients that you harvested. Because all of these ingredients are free. You're not paying anything for them. I'm wondering if he has seafood over here somewhere. I'm looking around, looking around. One of the things Remy has you do is uh, the dishes that he has you make, you have to put them in this window. So that's something to consider just in case you're doing that quest and you don't know what to do, how to complete it. That's where you bring them. And later on, he needs peanuts. So you need to come to his kitchen, and this is the tray that has the peanuts on it. You need to come back into his realm where you got him and unlock the peanuts there. So there's a couple of tips there. Uh, uh, actually, several all in one. I'm going to exit here, go back to uh, Dreamlight Valley, call this video a, a wrap, and remind everybody be a friend, reach out, be nice. You know, there's always somebody out there that's struggling and having it harder than you. Um, and that's not uh, that's not to say that what you're going through isn't difficult. Um, Lord knows uh, we all have our struggles. But reach out and you help somebody. And sometimes that j that's all it takes to help yourself feel better. Sometimes distraction therapy helps tremendously. You know, just distracting yourself from the problems on your mind may not do anything for the issue that's concerning you at the time, but it will take your mind off of it. And sometimes it allows you to recalibrate and come back at it. Whatever is bothering you, whatever is, is concerning you, um, you can come at it with a fresh look, a new angle. Um, maybe you'll see something you hadn't seen before, or maybe it'll, it'll stress you a little bit less to the point where you can uh, figure it out. You might not even figure it out. You know, some things aren't meant for us to figure out. Some things just happen. You know, good things happen to bad people, and bad things happen to good people, and there's no rhyme or reason always. Um, sometimes there is, and most of the time there's not. Best thing you can do is just, uh, when life gives you lemons, try and make lemonade. And if you can be the sugar for somebody out there, then by all means. We're going to finish watering these plants today. Call it good. You guys all keep being awesome. I'm going to go and probably make some pasta here. Oh. Yeah, I'm a carby. I'm a carby. Not a Barbie. I'm a carby. Cook up some pasta. I love pasta. I love cooking in real life. My puppy's probably going to go in there and stare at me and watch me cook it. And I wonder if I'm making her anything. You yep, you already got fed. And if, for those of you who are watching this video uh, currently, um, meaning like like uh, recently after, after I upload it, 
um, which means in September it's probably going to be going for the next month or two because it is the season for Halloween. Walmart just came out with their uh, their caramel flavored ding dongs. Yesterday I accidentally bought them. Accident. Well, I accidentally <laughs> bought them because I was, thought I was buying the original ones, not realizing they were the caramel flavored ones. Got them home and was pleasantly surprised. I gotta tell you honestly, I wasn't sure if I was gonna like them. Once I noticed they were caramel, I was like, oh, no. Uh, well, I do like caramel, so maybe we'll try them. But I don't think I'd have bought them if I didn't notice right off the bat that they were caramel. But I gotta tell you, they are so good. If you like caramel, you'll like these. One of my favorite coffees uh, is a salted caramel latte. Um, sometimes I'll make them at home. Um, and these are almost like that. They just don't have the salted. I've tasted some candies that try and mimic the salted caramel. And they just doesn't do it. It's got too much salt. Or or, or too much of something else. Um, yeah. So, here we go. Into our house. Going to replenish the uh, energy and uh, to remind everybody, you all keep being awesome and come back again tomorrow. Make sure to subscribe um, if you are a follower of mine on Twitch. Make sure to uh, subscribe, follow me. I'm gonna try and finish setting up my my Twitch account on my bio as well as my bio on my YouTube channel. You can uh, you can find me on Twitch right now, Brute Squad. Um, Brute Squad Dude is my Twitch account. If you're not watching me live on there and you just found me on YouTube, I do stream live on Twitter every day at 9 a.m. Except for my days off, which I may not stream at all. Um, uh, tomorrow I won't be streaming. Um, hmm? That's what I said. I won't be streaming tomorrow. Tomorrow's my day off and I'm heading out of town. Um, and my uh, YouTube channel, just in case you're watching me on Twitter, is the Brute Squat Dude. It has a little picture of my uh, my German Shepherd as my uh, profile picture. My uh, my moose, my moosey. Uh, there are a lot of channels out there that have some really good content. So support your fellow streamers and uh, don't hate up on anybody. At least for today, try and go one day. Be nice. Don't be a witch. I know it's a, I know it's the season for being a witch. Wait until we get a little closer to Halloween. That's okay. You can be a witch every once in a while, but just don't be a witch every day, okay? Um, I know I can get a little salty myself, but that's just fine. <laughs> that's why I like salty caramel because I get salty, okay? All right, that's just who I am. I can't I can't change who I am. All right, all. Thank you for uh, watching. Thanks for tuning in. We uh, really appreciate you, and uh, and you all keep being awesome. Love you. I have Bye. mint.